back again with the bumbling beekeeper again I'm doing more stuff I shouldn't be doing um, today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hopefully get started on producing a queen in fact if you look at my knuckle That is what I'm gonna produce my queen in. What I'm gonna start out with is I'm gonna take two frames with eggs. Actually, one frame with eggs, one frame with brood. Hopefully not get my queen and transfer them over to that nuck. As you see, I don't have the smoke with me today. One more thing is doing wrong and it's windy. You take a look here and I've got all sorts of spiders that just love to eat on my bees. I like spiders, but not around the nest. So, they're going to have to go. Bye, spiders. Uh oh. Ooh, yeah. There we go. So let's crack this thing open and see yeah, what we have in here. Good ants in there. Mm, got a few ants. I'm not too worried about a couple of them. Put these over here. Send all this back this way. And we'll get started on the inspection. Okay, they have slowed down quite a bit on their building. Not a problem. Because I really don't want these cells. All right, girls. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna take out two of these old frames that haven't been working for me. I'm gonna move these back. Oh, come on. Take these over this way. I'm gonna start inspecting over here. And I'd like to have two of the new stalls. Actually, I'm not going to put them here. I'm going to let the brood build up that way. And I might do one over here. Here we go. You. I think you're fine. Get off. There we go. Let's see if this is a candidate. What we're doing is checking to see if there's eggs. Doesn't look like there's any eggs on this, and I do not see my queen here. Let me put you back. This one. This one looks busy, busy, busy. Let's see what we have. I want to keep that space there, too. I may have to get another one. Okay. I'm looking in here. And... I see some larvae in there. I'm looking for more cat braid. Come on, girls. And... I see them all busy working. But this is not my egg factory. And this is basically some worthless comb. So I'm just going to move it back this way. Girls, get in there. Come on. Go. Thank you. Alright. This one. Please don't have a queen in here. Because this looks like a prime candidate for the move. Right over here I got some cat brood. Got pollen. Uh, looks like some larvae down here. More larvae getting ready to progress. Not the straightest of frames, but I know exactly where it can go. More cat brood. And now I'm just going to make sure that my little missus is not here. Oh, she's Alright, it'll be just a second. Hmm. All right, I think this one will be a good start. So, I'm going to move these girls 
right over this way. And I'll add one more spacer here. Watch out for my frames. Girls will probably take exception to this. So that's the first move. Let's see what we have in the next spot. Yeah, we got lots of dead bees. Busy hive, okay. Again, I got lots of cat brood. I'm still looking for the missus. I do not want to take her. I don't have any eggs. This is not a good candidate. Nice thing, they're getting ready to emerge, but... Oh, I do have some eggs down here, and I've got them down low. This will be the next one. So, guess what? This is the second one I'm going to move over. Oh my, I think I saw the queen crawling there. Crawling on this one? Mm -hmm. Where? I just saw a bee with the average. She probably moved over there. All right. There, I don't see her. I'm not going to worry about that. We are going to look for her. We're going to make sure we do not take the lady with us. But you bees all look normal. And I think we can work with you. Got little eggs. Got some brand new larvae. And I'm going to move one of these spacers over this way. Up. And we'll move you girls in. And pretty soon they are going to be absolutely miserable because they're going to be queenless. And I hate doing this to them, but we're looking to get a local queen. All right. Let me grab some more spacers. seal this hive up. I think I can do it without a little one. <sighs> Alright. My work with this hive is done. Now, because I was moving some frames around, and I'm a little bit concerned. I better make sure I find my queen. So, let's finish this inspection. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's my beautiful queen right there. Look at her. She is a beaut. And man, this is a nice brood nest right here. And it is heavy. I like you. Okay, they're about the right distance apart. We're just going to leave this alone. We'll keep it together. No, get in there. All right, let's take a look at some of our other frames. See what we got. We're just finishing the inspection. More brood, and they have been busy. And they got some honey in here, too. You see that shiny honey right in here? Um, I don't know if I could. Is it? Yeah, I think I can see it. Yeah. This is nice. All right. Yes, yes, girls. We are going to get everything moving right. I really hate taking away two things of brood out of this one. Wow. They are building... And they're taking her down, and more eggs, more larvae, huh. pollen. You see some of that thistle pollen right here. Come on, girls, out of the way. There we go. 
Ah, purple and black and... Yeah, that purple pollen. That's the thistle. All right, yep. Oh, I hope you squish Wow. And they are taking this down further. And I know they say that there's only one queen per hive, but I've read somewhere that in about 15% of the hives, they do have a mother-daughter combo. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep an eye out for it. Because if I can find, a mo find another queen... I should have glued that down over here. Not much in the way of comb here, but it is looking pretty nice. I'm going to throw in two more frames on this side. So we can put that brood nest a little further back. The girls are getting active. And they're ready for me to call it a day with them. Got two more frames. We'll just set them down right here. These are newer ones, right? They sure are. In fact, I'm hoping that they build past the wire. You'll see two things that are a little bit different. You notice how these frames, if you take the camera over this way, <laughs> they're right up next against the wall. That's a bit of a problem. I wanted something. Uh. Oh, can you see it? Here, bring the camera. Walk over here. And if you look, it's just right up in there. Now, you look at the new frame, and they got a little bee space. They may have too much bee space there. We'll see what they do with that. But, we'll give it a try, see what we have. Let's close this hive up. I also thought that they were thicker, too. Oh, no, did I? No, that spider. over this way and move the rest of this back oh why don't I have that let's not bother with that I'm still keeping the old frames in here as spacers <laughs> maybe I'll see a use for them I don't know not real happy with the old frames but hey just take care of what we can. Grab some of these. One, two. Looks like that one will fit in there. I wonder. Yes, I can. And actually, let's go with the thicker one. something push that down all the way that should be down in there huh. I'm probably not going to react too well to all the noise but go and we'll just put this cover back on. Shall we end it here? No, nope, we're going to take the NUC to its new location. NUC is short for Nucleus Hive. And that's what that little one is. The 
little mini thingy. Didn't have to use my high school. I know it's nice, but it works for a high school. I won't, ha I won't have you watching me as I put this up, but what I'm going to do, and this should really get the girls up, I'm going to pick up their hive and take them elsewhere. Oh, God. fast. Oh <laughs> I want to make sure that the hive is level. Then the way I can do that is just take a little level after it. It doesn't have to be exact, but I would like it close. That's saying it's level there. Let's see what it says here. Okay. Pretty darn close. I'm happy with it. And then we'll put the top on this one. I don't have strapped the same way I did the other one. So what I'm hoping is I'm hoping with it being right up against the building <laughs> that the wind won't be as likely to get it. And I'll throw some bricks on it just to make it heavy. I really don't want to see this go blowing over. And one more brick. And we'll call it a day. Good. Okay.